Peter, his golden Palomino, and Dale Evans, Queen of the West, with Pat Brady, their comical sidekick, and Roy's wonder dog, Bullet. Couldn't do better to Mineral City Emporium. All right. How much? Well, gents, I'm just a poor, poor old man. How much? Well, seeing as I ain't so all fired fidgety about trading outfits as some fellers have come along. Here. Hey, that's a fifty-dollar bill. More than one piece in these old eyes ever seen. Too bad I can't bust it for you, Sonny. Why, you mangy old road agent? Mac? Yeah, Mac. I could get the sheriff to bust it for me in town and uh, meet you there with the change. If you ever see us again and even act like you've seen us before, I'll... All right, you win. We'll just say you owe us a little something, huh? Sure, Sonny. I'd rather owe you the rest of my life and beat you out of anything. But don't force us to come back and collect with your hide. Come on. I just got a letter from Dale. From Dale? I thought she was coming home today. Well, she is on the afternoon stage, but I reckon maybe she thought this news couldn't wait that long. Well, it must be pretty important news. I'll say. It's a warning on a trail of counterfeit money stretching from St. Louis to Dry Branch. That sounds like the trail's heading this way. Any description, Sheriff? All currency. Big bills. Hundreds, fifties, and twenties. Easy, Mac. In your pocket. Here's the fake serial numbers. There isn't much information on the men who are passing them. No, they must be pretty sharp operators. But they're not going to stick my town with a bunch of bogus paper. I've warned almost every store to keep a watch out for strangers. Hey, Sheriff, there's a couple of horses with brands on them I haven't seen before. Yeah, they got saddlebags on them, too. Let's check them. Let's duck out the back way. Past that hassling in the kitchen, don't be a fool, sit down. But you heard what the Sheriff said about strangers. These outfits won't help us now. Give me your money. All of it. Find anything? Nothing you're looking for. I've still got to notify the cafe and the post office. I'll check the post office. Tell them to get word to me if any strangers come in. All right. Someone's coming. Stall them till I'm through here. Well, howdy, stranger. Where are you heading? Just outside. I, uh, I left my smokes in my saddlebag. Oh, here. Have one on me. Well, gee, thanks, Sheriff. What about your friend? Oh, uh, he don't smoke, Sheriff. That's right, Sheriff. I don't go for. Well, looks like you don't go for Pat's green salad either. Well, that's for the rabbits. Then you finished eating? Well, why do you ask? Well, you can't blame the Sheriff for thinking we don't look so prosperous, partner. <laughs> you wondering if we were going to run out without paying for our grub, Sheriff? Uh-uh. I was wondering what you're going to pay for it with. All right, man, let's see what you've got in your pockets. Well, now, don't that call for a search warrant? I'm not doing the searching. You are. Come on, empty your pockets out, both of you. Hi, Sheriff. Uh, something wrong? Nothing yet, Pat. Hey, fellas. You reek a big green salad, the best in the West. Why don't you eat it? They just don't like it. Some folks just don't know what's good for them. 
And green salad's no good when it sets. It's a terrible waste, too. Especially when you think of what the starving critters of the world could do with what's in this bowl. Well, uh, that's all there is, Sheriff. Uh, we figured it'd be enough to get us to our new jobs. Can we go now? Yeah, if we don't get going, there won't be any jobs. Mm, all right, man. I'll send Pat out to settle up with you. Uh, never mind, Sheriff. We're not in that big a hurry. No, don't go to any bother. No, it's no bother. I gotta talk to him anyway. Anybody tries to give you one of these big bills. Bills? I don't see no bills. Well, you can read, can't you? Well, what's that got hey, to do? Pat! With... There's Roy. Get him to explain it to you. Come on, Roy! there might have been a holdup, and I came in here to see if you were all right. Well, I'm plenty hurt. Those skunks took out of here without paying for steak dinners. I warned Dale Evans never to leave me in complete charge here. Well, maybe they didn't have any money, Pat. No money? They had rolls big enough to choke a whole herd of horses. Are you sure? I saw them counting it. Hundred dollar bills, fifty dollar bills, twenties, tens. <laughs> Boy, 
boy, am I glad to see you. When did you get in? Just in time to keep this place from falling apart from the looks of things. Oh, now, Dale, I, I couldn't help it this morning. Just wait till you hear what all's happened to me. Well, you just help me get this mess straightened up, and you can talk while we work. Now, ain't that just like a woman? Nothing's more important than getting the mess straightened up. No sooner in a place than she's flying around a room with an apron and a broom. I think these are your counterfeiters. He's crazy. He hasn't got a thing on us. If not, why didn't you heed my warning to stop? I only heard a gunshot. That's right. We took it for a holdup. He wasn't wearing no badge. Roy, I searched these men in the restaurant. Then you better search the restaurant. I'm going to backtrack the trail just in case they got the money back after they left you. But I can't hold him without evidence. That's all I'm counting the evidence. You can hold him for running out without paying him. men. I guess I'll have to hold you till I check on Pat's story. But we didn't mean to run out on him. We got the money and we're willing to pay. Anyway, if you hadn't have got us so mixed up searching our pockets, we wouldn't have forgot to pay. Another thing, Mr. Sheriff, you just admitted to Rogers that you searched us. And you didn't have a warrant. That's illegal. And so is Rogers' armed assault and false arrest. We're holding your county responsible for that. Off your horses. Pat, are you sure you didn't mistake some of your green salad for money? Now, who ever heard of lettuce with printing on it? You should have a suitcase full of it. Dale, if those fellas heard me ask Roy for help, they're right. They can sue the county for false arrest and armed assault. They paid me for their grub. But I'm sure you can get away with holding them on suspicion, at least long enough for us to search this place. Not according to the Mineral City law. It says that once the sheriff clears a man, he can't be held without criminal evidence against him. leaving his mess for me to straighten up. Pat, were those men here long enough to hide anything anywhere else in this building? Well, not in the kitchen, because I was in there when I wasn't in here. You better check that counter. Empty those shelves. Again? I just got through putting all that stuff back. Pat, there's a difference between cleaning and searching. Now get on with it while I look around the hotel. The sheriff will be back in a minute and he'll help you. for the stuff we got to get it back before the sheriff finds it or we're dead well i figured that hashlinger took it for the real thing and stashed it away now he can't say anything that's what i figured but it don't hold water the hashlinger's the one that got us into this mess he's the only one that saw the stuff yeah if he wanted to keep it he wouldn't have mentioned it but if he hasn't got it well then we're as much in the dark as the sheriff is say you think that hashlinger could have dumped that salad bowl without seeing our bills old mose the town garbage collector and I just remember we passed him going into town just before Rogers caught up with us. Yeah, and I remember seeing a lot of big cans in his wagon. Say, wonder if he's finished the day's collection. That's our only hope. We can't go back into town and root around the garbage can without being seen or suspected. Well, at least we know about the salad bowl and the sheriff don't. So let's mosey over to old Moses while we're still one jump ahead. Oh, wait, we got to take the back trails. But why? Old Moses could have busted that 50 when he was in town. And the sheriff's got everybody out looking for big bills. Yeah, I reckon he could make the old man tell where he got it. Right. Come on, this way.
I'm the richest man in the world. Nobody will ever know. One hundred, two hundred. What are you doing? Did you find anything? Nothing. Did Dale get back? Yeah, she's searching the hotel. You know, we've gone over this place with a fine-tooth comb and found nothing. Hey, Pat. What's the idea of keeping empty boxes on that shelf? Don't you know it's against the law? No, sir. Well, you do now. It's a fire hazard. Get rid of them. Yes, sir. You know, Roy, I'm beginning to think old Pat told us a tall tale. Pat doesn't joke about things like that, Sheriff. Bullet, how many times have I told you not to dig holes back here? Well, I don't want that old bone. I just want you to stop digging. $100 bill. Bullet dug it up out back. So, that's where they hid it. They buried it out back. Well, they couldn't have, Sheriff. Pat was in the kitchen and you and I were out front. I know that, but there must be more of it. I'm going out and get a shovel. Now, wait a minute. What about all this mess you made in here? You clean it up. This is official business. <laughs> Why, you lazy, no good. Pat, are you sure your customers couldn't have sneaked in the kitchen and back out without you seeing them? There was only one deadbeat sneaked in here and I run him out. That thieving old Mose. Old Mose, huh? Hey, I'll bet you old Mose is in cahoots with them counterfeiters. They could have sent him back here to pick up their bogus money. Well, that's hard to swallow, Pat. Old Mose's errors are harmless and petty. Besides, I don't think he'd have the nerve to tackle anything this big. Not unless there was money in it. Well, he is a scavenger. He might have found this money where the counterfeiters hid it. Well, now, I don't know. Old Mose wasn't bleeding, and that's blood money. I mean, it's got blood stains on it. It isn't blood, Pat. It's ketchup. It smells like it's got salad dressing on it, too. If Old Mose did find that counterfeit, he must have hid it in the garbage can. Uh-huh. So that's how it happened to be in that hole that Bullet dug. He snitched that bone out of the garbage can after Old Mose dumped in the counterfeit. Well, this could have stuck to the bone, I guess. Pat, tell Dale I'm going out and have a talk with Old Mose. Ask her if she'd mind riding out to his place. You see, she's been awful good to him, and she might be able to get more out of him than I can. Sure, Roy. Well, there's his wagon. I guess he's inside. Yeah, he's a sly one. We'd better hide the horses and sneak up on him. Let's get rid of these coats. We'd better hide the horses anyway, just in case the sheriff comes by and starts wondering why we stopped. When we was in such a hurry to get to our, uh, the job. Where do you think you're going, old Mose? Up the canyon to feed my pigs. I got pigs. I throw a lot of trash out up there. You got a pig in your place? Of course not. My home's respectable and clean. What do you think, Mac? Well, I think he's got a pig in there, and that's against the law. Yeah, we better look inside. Yeah, get going and unlock that now, door. Now, wait just a doggone minute. that can up behind the cafe in town. Our money got in there by mistake. Now, what'd you do with it? I didn't see no money. I ain't got no money. I'm just a poor, poor old man. No money, huh? What about that $50 bill? What $50 bill? I don't know nothing about it. Uh, answer his question. I don't remember. I'm, 
I'm all mixed up. I'm just a poor, poor old man. I don't know yeah. nothing about the money. <laughs> Please, honest, leave me alone. Please. Let that stuff alone. perfectly good dollars. We're rich. Look, we'll leave the counterfeit here. I'll kill the old man and let him take the blame. Wait a minute. Hold your fire. Somebody's coming. A shot might tip him off. The sheriff? Hit Brett Rogers. Stand aside. I'll pick him off that horse. No, we can't afford to miss. Stand here by the window. Then we'll let him have it. Never mind him. Get Rogers. Pretty money. They're gonna steal my money. Are you all right, old Mose? My pretty, pretty money. Oh. Look, Mose, we want to help you. You made it possible for us to catch these crooks. I want you to tell me the truth. Were you in with them? Were you helping pass this phony money? Finders is keepers. That's what I always say. Finders is keepers. You mean you found this money at the restaurant? Are you sure those crooks didn't send you there for it? They're trying to steal my money. Everybody wants to... You're trying to steal my money. All my pretty money. Listen, Mose. Nobody wants this money. It's no good. It isn't worth the paper it's printed on. Wait a minute. This isn't counterfeit, Dale. Huh? Where'd you get this money? It's the counting of the feel of it. For 40 years, I've scraped and saved just to count it and feel it. It won't be fun counting it anymore. Now that your secret's out, every thief and crook in the country will be after it. What'll I do, Roy? Dale? Oh, Mose, you've been suffering from a kind of sickness. And you've got to get well. How? Well, first, you've got to learn that money wasn't meant to be locked up in a dark place when it can do so much good in the world. Life is short, Mose. And people will soon forget old Mose the miser. Miser? That's right. Wouldn't you rather the people would remember old Moses, the grand old man whose money did so much good for the town? Folks don't like me, Roy. They call me a dirty old man. They never will think good of me. You're wrong there, Mose. Years from now, people could see a lot of happy, healthy little children living in a nice home. And they could say, if it wasn't for old Mose and all his money, these little children would be hungry and homeless. They'd be saying that? They could be saying the same thing about old Moses' home for the aged. Old people like you, Mose. Old people who really have no money of their own. What else, Roy? Tell me some more. Well, the church needs a new steeple, and the school could use a new library. Gosh, you make it sound like giving and spending's a lot more fun than counting. It is, Mose. Why don't you give it a try? Will you help me? You bet we will. Oh, Mose. The grand old man of Menlo City. Boy!